So um, my project involved looking at the service user experience of a cognitive assessment in a memory assessment service. Um, and what this involved was um, asking clients who attended for a cognitive assessment to fill out a semi-structured interview and then subsequently I interviewed four individuals more in-depthly about their experiences um, of a cognitive, cognitive assessment from the initial referral point to the feedback of the report. Um, what I really enjoyed about the project was um, working with clients in a different way, so in terms of sitting in a room asking clients about their experience of the process of the cognitive assessment, something that perhaps we're not all are able to do when we're assessing clients, and I guess just looking at it from a different lens is really helpful in understanding the process and thinking about how I might be in the assessment moving forward. And my project um, focused on organising a sort of one-off um, workshop for people who were awaiting um, trauma treatment in my service. Um, so the idea was to kind of involve services at various stages of the project, which I found very helpful. Um, so initially, we shared the idea of the project with um, a forum that was organised by people participation in our service, um, and then. The idea was to kind of involve possibly one service user to co-facilitate the group with us. Um, initially we had agreement about who that person was, but unfortunately they kind of um, withdrew um, for understandable reasons because yeah, they just possibly felt maybe it, was, it would be too soon for them to, to get involved with something like that. But I just found it helpful that even you know, getting to talks about things like that, it's, it's, it's quite useful and it just makes them um, feel appreciated and just so they know that actually they can take part at various stages when the project is being developed. Um, fortunately, yeah, the, the service users I was sort of in touch with were still able to offer some really valuable um, feedback on um, outcome measures that we developed. So um, myself and other clinician had some ideas about like what measures we would like to use before and after the workshop um, and then we got in touch with um, services and they gave us feedback about maybe having a bit too many outcome measures and that some outcome measures um, possibly would trigger some um, difficult feelings before the workshop started so it just made us really think about like, oh this is so useful because you know this is actually service users who would have done those measures before and actually they, they know exactly what it feels to fill out one and so I found that very very um, important to actually hear that voice from them and thankfully yeah, we were able to reduce the number of measures but still collect valuable data that obviously we were, we were interested in so the whole experience yeah, just made me really appreciate you know how service users can be involved at different stages of the project and like just how useful the feedback is, you know, at every stage and I'm hoping now to present them with the final results and just to hear again the voice, you know, once once everything has been completed. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so my project was looking at trying to increase the uptake of therapeutic groups that are around in an inpatient ward. Um, and as part of this we looked at the timetable of groups that was on the ward um, and the idea for changing that timetable came from patients saying that they found it difficult to read and it was complicated um, so that was the where we were going to start the project and that's where we where we went with it and the along those same lines we thought that if we were going to change something about it for the service users then they should be the ones who tell us what we're going to change about it and to find out what they didn't like about the timetable and to prefer it to be like so that we can try and make those changes. And I think one of the things I learned from the project was to do with when including service users in projects is for it to not just be a tick box exercise and to actually listen to what, what the people are saying. So it's, it's great that people are asking service users what they want but also to listen to their views and, and do something about it as much as as much as you can really.